In this action step, you're gonna learn how to set up a YouTube channel. Now, if you already have a Google account, then you can go ahead and sort of fast forward through this video a little bit to about the last 30 seconds, maybe the last minute. But for those of you who don't and wanna see how that's done, let's go ahead and create a Google account right now. So you'll see here on the screen, all I've done is I've gone to accounts.google.com. If you don't have one, um, you're gonna be prompted to create an account. Now, because I have several Google accounts and it already kind of knows that, um, I had to get to this page. Either way, you're gonna click a button that says create an account. And you're gonna have a choice to create one for you or to manage your business. Even though this is for a YouTube channel, which is, you know, to make money, we're gonna say for myself, because you're not wanting to set up like a Google My Business account, okay? So I've of course set up emails in the past, so again, the cookies are, it's automatically filling in, it's cache data. But I'll go ahead and put in my name, Ricky Kessler, and they've just prompted me with this name. It's not the one I want. I'm gonna go ahead and put in YouTube uh, 60 steps at gmail.com, okay? And then I'll make up a password here. Okay. Oh, apparently I can't use that YouTube, that name. YT 60 steps, how's that? Then um, they're going to ask for a phone number. Um, they have multiple reasons for this. They don't seem to give me a way to just skip that. They do say my info is safe. I don't know, we'll see. Then they're gonna text me a verification code. I'll get that verification code and type, them in, type it in, 357-893. Now I can put in a recovery email address. Um, they want your birthday. They just wanna know you're not some little kid. And then we move forward. I'm gonna go ahead and skip this. I'm not gonna set up a Google Voice account or anything right now. I'm gonna read every word of the privacy and terms and then I'm gonna click I agree. All right, now I have a Google account, okay? So once I have a Google account, I can just go over to youtube.com you can see, well, I'm not signed in on Google or on YouTube, so I'll go ahead and click sign in. And it did sign me in. See, it recognized that I was already signed in on the browser. Now that I'm signed in on a Google account and I'm on youtube.com, I can click create a channel. And then I get started creating the channel. Um, in terms of creating a channel, there are two options. One is I can just use my name whatever is associated with this Google account. Um, I'm gonna recommend you don't do that, and here's why. Um, yes, I could change the name on the Google account to the name of my website, the name of my channel, the name of my company, whatever I want it to be. Um, but then I can't really, I can't participate on YouTube as me separately from as my business, right? Um, and so everything on my Google is gonna have to be tied to, is gonna have to be in the name of my business. Um, unless I want my, my business, the YouTube channel to show my name as opposed to my business's name. If you click use a custom name, what it's gonna do is actually set up what's called a Google brand account. And this is where you can set branding, you can have your own little icon, um, instead of maybe your personal photo, you could do a logo, um, and it's gonna create a whole brand account tied to your Google account, and that YouTube channel is gonna be part of that brand account. So then you can use YouTube as your brand, and you can separately use YouTube as yourself. Um, any videos you watch as yourself won't show up in the history for your brand and vice versa. You can comment on YouTube videos across YouTube as yourself or as your brand, depending on which one you want to do. So I highly recommend you select this option. Then you choose your channel name. So mine will be YouTube 60 Steps. I understand I'm creating a new Google account. Create and here in the next few seconds, I have a channel. In the next step, we're gonna walk through how to set up this channel and how to make it customized to your brand, to your videos, and we're gonna even show you how to go ahead and set up all of the settings associated with that account so that you're ready to start uploading videos.